here I am again. How are you? I hope you are all well. This time I'm going to use English language only. I just realized that most of my Indonesian viewers, they can understand English. But just in case, I'm going to also use the Indonesian subtitles. Normally, I'm taking my video outside in my terrace. But this time, I'm going to try indoor in my hiding place. I hope you like it. In my last video, I was telling you about my experience undergoing chemo. Actually, some type of chemo can be really tough on you. But some of them, they are easy. They hardly have any side effect. Unfortunately, the last two chemos I have was a very tough ones. Epirubicin and Abrexo are the two types of tough chemo. I vomited a lot. I was having bad stomach, diarrhea. Uh, my, my stomach acid went up high. Um, the same time also, my white cell and red cell drop. Anyway, it was very unbearable that I could not take it anymore and I was taken to the nearest emergency room where I had to be hospitalized for several days. There, in the hospital, they really take care of me they gave me some infuse and so in few days time I was completely recovered but otherwise it was really tough that I had to be taken to the hospital I was very lucky that it was only the two very last one that I had bad after effect. The two last one after six times I was going through and that was I hope it's finished for the time being. I don't think I will go back to this type of chemo again because it's really suffering me. In this video I'm going to share with you my daily experience living with metastasized cancer. Actually, I've been going back and forth during the past six months to the hospital, either for chemo, for, for lab test, for echocardio, for x-ray, for whatever it is. The hospital visits and the trips to the hospital it can take up five to eight hours. It's a long trip and it's a long wait. But I try to enjoy as much as I could. The visit, the trips, the medicine, the everything related to this treatment can be very time consuming and also money consuming. Fortunately, Indonesian government provides security and health care service which help us a lot in many respects. I think as a good taxpayer as well as that I am married to a husband that is retired from the government service we are entitled for the service can you imagine if we have to pay it from our own pocket 
might be very expensive. Waiting in the hospital for long hours can be boring, can also be tiring. But fortunately, I can use my time for reading or doing some social media, listening to the music, or even painting. So, time flies quickly. I remember the way you glanced at me as I remember I remember I remember All the things that we shared And the promise we made Just you and I I remember All the laughter we shared Normally, after going back and forth for many times to the hospital once you get home you feel relax. I always look forward to come home where I can relax in my healing surrounding. I find my garden is very healing and the surrounding is very serene. I love gardening. I also love the environment, the healthy and clean environment and I participate in taking care of it. I remember the way you glanced at me as I remember. This is also my way of saying my gratitude towards what I have been given. I'm trying to focus my life into more healthy thought, positive thinking, rather than thinking about the sickness or the cancer, or maybe thinking about the deadly illness. No, that's not me at all. So I am more focused into Activities, creativities, and something apart from thinking of the illness. The essence of what I'm trying to tell you in this video was that spend my daily life thinking about positive things, doing a lot of creative things, rather than thinking about the illness itself. Though I know that I am suffering from metastasized cancer. I hardly ever think about it. I don't think about this as a deadening sickness or illness. No, I take life easy and I take it day by day and I take it one step of a time. Of course, once in a while, I was feeling really down, really low, and that was after the chemo, where I could hardly do anything. Most of the time, I sleep and, yeah, feeling tired. So that's my life for the time being. I take it as it is. I take it easy. and. Uh, I do things slowly but surely. This is my life, this is real and uh, there is no less and no more. I really hope that for you who are suffering from the same condition as I am, never feel low, never feel down. Take it with light-hearted because when you take things with light-hearted you feel that you gain positive energy you feel that you also gain 
strength and that's all will enlighten your burden. For me, being light-hearted give me a lot of positive energy and high spirit to overwin whatever trouble I'm going through. Right? That must be right. at me as I remember I remember when we caught a shooting star yes I remember I remember all the things that we shared and the promise we made just you and I I remember all the laughter we shared all the wishes we made upon the roof do you remember when you thank you for watching thank you for you who have subscribed please watch my next video where i will share about therapy for my broken arms and for my legs that were almost paralyzed at me as I remember